Massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description below will get one month's free trial on Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. It's hard to believe that it's been almost 3,000 days since Nintendo released the 2DS and in front of me I have an incredibly rare Japanese exclusive variant that was released in February of 2016. So this is a Pocket Monsters edition Nintendo 2DS and what makes this one really special is it's the green version. We did actually get a red, a yellow and a blue one in the rest of the world but the green one was limited only to Japan and that's because Pocket Monsters green edition back in the day on the Game Boy was only Japanese exclusive as well. I also managed to get my hands on these which I think are brand new and sealed, really hoping that they are and basically all these are, are codes so that you can play these Game Boy games on your 2DS. Um, they just are packaged to look like the original Game Boy games from back in the day. So I'm super excited to show you this limited edition Nintendo 2DS exclusive to Japan. Without any further ado, let's roll the intro. So this is the box and it's very reminiscent of the original Pokemon Green or Pocket Monsters Green Edition uh, Game Boy game. So they've really kept the authenticity of the box design which I think is really cool. We've got Venusaur in the middle there, obviously everything is in Japanese, Pocket Monsters is the same as Pokemon, it's just the original Japanese name for it. And yeah this console and the box and everything inside it is going to be Japanese. On the back we've got a little Bulbasaur, a Pokeball which is really cool and then we've got some screenshots of the original game which does make this whole thing look like it's actually something to do with a Game Boy, which I absolutely love. And being that this channel is about handhelds and Game Boys, this fits the bill pretty well. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. I think this one doesn't come with the charger. I feel like I remember that being a thing. So there's the actual unit itself. We'll take a look at that in just a second. What have we got inside the packaging? Let's see if we can even figure out how we open this thing. Righty, we are in. So we've got a, lot, a bunch of different things in here, holy. All right, so we've got this piece of paper. That looked like it came with some stickers. Yeah, it did, it came with some stickers, but all of these stickers are missing. That's a little bit of a shame. We've got the AR cards as well, the augmented reality cards. Uh, they're just sort of loosely thrown in there. We can set those to the side. Um, we've got a map, look at that, Pocket Monsters Town map. That is a very lovely thing. Very nice quality print, really cool, and that is included with this 2DS. Uh, we've also got a little Mew piece of paper here, not sure what that's for at all. Uh, we've also got this right here, and that is the code. We've also got another code here for Mew, so do your worst with those and see if you can get anything out of them, hopefully you can. And then we've got the normal manuals and paraphernalia, or whatever it's called, that we get with the 2DS. So that is it for all of the leaflets and whatnot that we get here is the device itself. Now this has to be one of the most beautiful 2DS or in fact just DS consoles um, I've ever seen. Some people don't like the whole transparent thing but I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, this green edition, it's sort of like a matte finish green and it's in Nintendo's rather high quality plastic. So that is a lovely thing right there. We've also got these sort of Super Nintendo colored uh, action buttons, which is really cool. We've got a light gray D-pad, slightly darker gray joystick, and a light gray start and select, which is really cool. Green uh, L and R buttons, and we've got that sort of green accent that goes down the side as well. There was actually a green, a jungle green Toys R Us limited edition Game Boy Color from back in the day. I'm gonna throw a photo up of that on the screen. I have that somewhere, I'm fairly certain, but I have no idea where it could be because all my stuff's in boxes still, but yeah, I wonder if it's the exact same color. That is really cool. So that is pretty much it then for the console itself. Such a gorgeous thing. I'm actually a massive fan of the 2DS. I think for me, it's probably one of the most comfortable ways to play your DS game. You haven't got the stretched resolution of having a 3DS XL or something or a new a new 2DS XL. It's a really nice form factor as well if you've got big hands. Uh, I just need to go through the menu setup stuff. Well, I just spent the last half an hour trying to find a battery which is charged because I don't have a charger. Anyway, we are here and look, this thing is now working and we're on the home screen. Fun fact about the home screen, you see this little sort of carousel of rotating things. If you blow into the microphone, which is right here, they spin round faster. 
How cool is that? Okay, so these are the games then that I managed to find. I bought all of this stuff from Sendico, which is a proxy service for Yahoo Auctions, uh, which is just like a Japanese eBay. So that's how I'm able to find all of these really cool things. So here they are. And what's really cool about these is they're in like box protector type things, um, which is really cool. Scarily though, they're both open, which makes me quite afraid that there's a chance that these have been used. Uh-oh. Well, we're about to find out. So, there they are. The, the This one's actually got Nintendo 3DS written on them, uh, whereas this says Nintendo 2DS, presumably because this obviously can also be used on the 3DS. Okay, so which one should we go for? Let's go for the green one, because that is the one that we have here. So we're gonna open this up, really cool. Okay, what have we got inside? So it looks like everything that we've got inside is what was included in the actual thing itself. We've got uh, the map, which we've already seen, and then we've got this little thing. <gasps> wow, that is so cool. Look at that, there's an actual Game Boy cartridge, which is probably gonna have the code on it. That is really cool. So there's a little, uh, little manual here. Oh, look at them, they're stickers. They're really nice. That is a very lovely little thing. And then what else have we got? Oh, hang on, here's a code. What's this? <gasps> Wait a minute, there's a code. This is a card with a code on it. So what is this? What is this? That's a little magnet, it's a little Game Boy magnet. Oh, that is so, so cute. It's a little Game Boy magnet. Yes, that is absolutely adorable. What a nice thing to include in a package like this. Okay, so this is the code then for the virtual console. Now let's absolutely hope and pray that it's not been used. We're about to find out. I'm very, very sure that it has been. Right, I've put the code in. That looks like an error. No, it's been used. That is absolutely depressing. Well, what a shame. Well, oh well. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool nonetheless that we got to have a look at all the different bits. And that is the green 2DS, uh, which is a Japanese exclusive Pokemon, Pocket Monsters edition, a very nice little thing. And the little green stylus as well included. So. I hope you've enjoyed this video nonetheless. Um, all we were going to do was basically just wander around in a Pokemon emulator, uh, sorry, a virtual um, console emulator for the Game Boy, which I'm sure you guys have seen a million times. I'll put a little bit of footage on that um, on the screen. But it's a really nice thing, and I love that Nintendo have always paid homage to their past by doing stuff like this, and they're still doing this today with the recent Switch that they announced, uh, the Pokemon Edition Switch. That actually has the same limited edition design that was featured on the Nintendo DS, a special edition of the Nintendo DS, which is a really cool little thing. I like that. Props to you, Nintendo. Before we end this video, a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills and develop interests with this incredibly useful resource of creativity and education. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads like this one. You can even try Skillshare live classes and get real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers. Personally, I've really been enjoying the classes by MKBHD, who is an incredibly well-established YouTuber. He's been making videos for budding YouTubers like myself to help learn and improve their channel. Check out the link in the description below and the first 1,000 subscribers get a month's free trial of Skillshare. Massive thank you to them for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.